it guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 2 of the Road to Glory career mode on FIFA 19. The Yeovil career mode is back once again. Thank you guys so much for the support on the first episode, it was so good. Um, all the support, the comments you gave me. Uh, before I do jump into the episode, if you would kindly uh, drop a like, a comment and subscribe to the channel. We're nearly at 500 subs now, uh, which is insane. Uh, for me, which I, I didn't think I was ever going to get. Now, for today's episode, I have got a big game coming up against uh, Leeds in the Carabao Cup. Uh, unfortunately, we got a short straw and got a championship team in the first round, which is very annoying. Uh, and then I'll be playing the Mansfield game, not County game, and then probably playing one of these and simming one of these, depending on the league table, because obviously there's so many games to play, and we want to get to the top leagues as soon as possible. Um, but there's just so many games to play and obviously I want to play them to make sure I actually get promoted and stuff like that so what I want to do before I do jump into the gameplay is I looked at all your suggestions um, for transfers and I have literally put every single player um, onto the transfer list doesn't mean I'm going to sign all of them uh, this guy I'm actually going to remove off my thing that was one of the guys I was looking at uh, so these are all the suggestions that were left in the comment section. There's so many players. Um, some of them I searched for and couldn't find, so I don't really know if they're in there or not. So unfortunately, not all of, well, not all of them are here, but the majority are. Um, but some of them just weren't there when I searched, so I don't really know what was wrong with that. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to sign anyone until I get the ratings back and uh, how much they're going to cost. Uh, just because we literally have like barely any money so it would uh, help to know what their rating is um, how much they're going to cost and who would be the best value value for money in terms of rating and price so yeah that's what we're going to be doing for this episode don't forget to leave a like and um, I will jump into this game against Mansfield as you can see it is a top of the table kind of clash both won our first game uh, at home so hopefully we can go on and get the win I will be right back. Right guys, as you can see here, we are going into the first game against Mansfield Town. Uh, Yeovil Town against Mansfield Town. Uh, I just want to say before I do get into the highlights of the game, obviously um, for this first kind of maybe season, two seasons, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. Depends how quick it does take us to get to the top in terms of like maybe the championship. I will be doing post commentary for games because there are so many games in League 2, I just don't think I'm going to have enough time to be doing it live, because um, I want to get loads of games in, I just find it easier to do the post commentary, um, which some people don't like, some people do like, um, but for my normal career modes like Cardiff and Wolfsburg, it will still be live commentary for most games, but just for now, I feel like it's easier for me for this overall career mode to do the post commentary, so I'm going to try and keep it as much as entertaining as I can um, with what I've got um, but it, this does allow me to leave loads of gameplay for you guys but then talk about stuff about the career mode and stuff like that on my channel so um, before I do start uh, talking about the gameplay itself this career mode is so fun already it's already so fun I'm really enjoying it um, I like I said I'm really enjoying it um, I just I don't know why I just like the non-league aspect as Mansfield scored that insane free kick. When he scored that, I was like, how? He's probably like a 55 rated centre mid, and he's pinged it off the crossbar, and it's gone top bins. I just can't, I just don't get that. Anyway, we go up the other end straight away here, Fisher, who, by the way, I think is a great player for uh, Yeovil Town. Uh, get the shot off there, unfortunately, we can't actually uh, get the goal. Uh, but we do get a corner here, nice little flick on there, great save from this keeper. Um, the keep Mansfield keeper was insane against me today in this game. I probably could have scored about four or five goals if that keeper wasn't there. A great ball over the top from, I think that was uh, uh, Pat Patterson, Patterson. Boom, Fisher, 1-1, nice goal. When he first touched that ball down, I was not expecting him to like get a decent touch. Look here, I thought he was going to like take an elephant touch, but he didn't. Alex Fisher getting another goal this season, 1-1 against Mansfield, really really impressed with Fisher, um, the other striker this guy, I, I'm not too keen on him as we get a chance there, again keeper easy save for him, not a great shot, the shooting with these players is not very good as we pull off a great save there um, with the keeper, I just don't know, obviously I know why because the players are low rated but it's just so annoying 
like shots like that in my other career modes would just go in and then with this one it's just so bad we get another chance here we just couldn't turn around to shoot and that is full time we take a one all draw against Mansfield at home not too bad as Mansfield are quite high up in the league with us and now we move on into the big game this is only the first round of the Carabao Cup and we got matched up with Leeds United who obviously are, if people know well should know they are a championship side um, so I was very worried coming into this game not gonna lie I thought we were gonna get absolutely pummeled by Leeds um, as you will see it wasn't the case in terms of them scoring as many goals as I thought now we tried to play a nice bit of football here early doors and we got tackled straight away because you can't make passes like that with the lower rated players Leeds get a nice chance here and um, the ball does get blocked um, from Dickinson I think our left back uh, I don't know no, I don't know if I've actually played him this game anyway they get it whipped in I was gonna say good header there but um, Baxter had to punch that out because the defender headed it back into the box uh, which was uh, not the intention there as we do play some nice football to get the ball out here inside Again, mess it up. Bamford's on the ball. Didn't press him down. I was like, oh, there we go. 1-0 already. But he puts it wide. So, we got a bit lucky there. Patrick, Patrick Bamford not getting um, the shot on target. As we do charge forward here, um, I cut back inside. Play a nice ball across. Tried to flick it on. Couldn't get it done. Uh, but it is promising. As you can see here, look how much space we have over on the far side. I play the ball across. I'm running in. I shoot. And it's saved from the keeper. I try to get the rebound. And it's straight at the keeper again, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, not too bad to start off with. You know, we're 33 minutes in. I thought that was going to be 1-0. But back to the a great save there to keep us um, level at 0-0. I thought that was going to go in, to be honest. And um, here again, leads another corner. Whipped in. Good header from Janssen there over the crossbar, thankfully, because uh, Baxter, all he did was just stare and watch there. Um, we pick up the ball here and play a nice ball out into uh, the left mid there. It cuts it back in. Who's there? Bailey drills it into the top corner. Bailey, he's normally a sub for us in the career, in the uh, league games, um, but I think he's a great player. Um, as you'll see, it, like throughout this game, this game, he he just he was quality, and he was in the right place at the right time. Nice little ball laid across, and he gets the goal to put us one 0 up against Leeds in the Carabao Cup, and that nearly went in. I don't know how that's nearly floated in, but you know we move on. We get another chance here. I tried to play. I literally, I it's my own fault. I I tried to play the football too much there and try to pass it. I, I was going to try and pass it twice after that. Um, after Bailey was in that space. Um, but we eventually got tackled, so we couldn't. Anyway, nice bit of football here. I couldn't really, I didn't know really what to do. Um, I just rushed that there, and as you can see, they just intercepted me. Um, again, play the back to the Baxter, the keeper, just to get rid of it. Uh, I tried to play it out of the line, and we actually won the header surprisingly. And I think that's Almeida. Uh, he is exceptional uh, for a lower rated player. Great ball over the top, and we tried to play it across, but you know, you can't be doing power passes with uh, players that are like 60 rated. Again, what a chance that was. I thought they were going to score. Um, great save from the keep. Well, not a great save, but back to a comfortable save for him. Um, again, mishap hit the back here from the uh, Leeds defence. I picked up the ball. I tried to cross it back stick to uh, the. I, I subbed them on, and then Almeida, boom, I thought it was going top bins, and it didn't. Um, it was a really nice chance. Probably could have killed the game off then and then instead of me worrying. But we did win. We did win indeed. The biggest win I've had in this career mode, and probably f I will have throughout this season. Um, in the first round of the Carabao Cup against Leeds, they're out. We're through. And already that is just a great starting point for the season uh, of this career mode. I'm enjoying this career mode uh, very much. Our last game, I do, I think I do believe this is our last game of the episode in terms of playing games. Uh, I've got two sim games at the end of this um, episode as well. Uh, just because there are so many games, I need to sim some games and I need to play. Uh, obviously, I'm going to play most of them, but each month, if I've got like six games, I'm going to play at least four, then sim two, depending on what the teams are. If not, then I'll play five, sim one, or play all six, but just shorten down the highlights per episode because. What I normally do is I do a month per episode, um, but because this has got so many games in it, I might have to do like two months per episode just so I can get this league out of the way. Because obviously most of the people that watch this want to see Yeovil Town in like the top leagues. You know, you don't really want to see me playing the league two like every game, all of the games like not live, but all the games highlights. You want to kind of get this league and League One out of the way, and then get into the championship where things start to get serious. So. 
Um, this game was quite boring, not going to lie, 0-0 nil -nil at the moment. Uh, didn't, I haven't really created many chances this game, uh, but I am starting to get used to playing the ball round with these players. You know, they're not great players, so I can't exactly do much, but we play some nice link-up play here, lay it across, and boom, what a goal that was. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. Obviously, I can't really see it on screen. I'll wait for him to celebrate. Um, he actually emailed me. Uh, was it Olomo? Uh, Olomola, I think, Olomola, he emailed me before the game, like, I want to start the game, play me, he's in the reserves, no, he's on the bench normally, oh, Olomola, yeah, so I was like, you know what, I'll play him, why not, he had a good cup game against Leeds, so I played him, and he scored the goal to put us 1-0 up against Notts County, um, really nice finish to be fair, I thought he was going to bottle it, not going to lie, because he is low rated, um, I thought he was going to bottle it, um, but yeah, uh, here, shock and defending, the game itself ruined that for me, Stupid gameplay. I should have easily cleared that after I tackled him, but it bounced back to him. They scored. Nearly get a chance there, Fisher. I thought it maybe could have been a penalty. Probably not. As you can see, as you saw, it wasn't a penalty. Uh, they get another chance here. Whip the ball in. Good punch from Baxter again. And they get the rebound and score. I was fuming with that. Again, I've saved it comfortably, and it's just bounced, and he's got an open goal to kick the ball in the net. You know, it's just really frustrating. Um, but we go straight from kickoff. Um, really nice play here. Almeida picks the ball into Fisher. He waits for the run of Green. I do believe that is on the far side. Green. Yeah, it cuts inside. Almeida misses it. Flicks it on. Here we go. Can we finish it? No. Can we finish it again? No. We get another chance here. Into Almeida. Flays it through to Fisher. Fisher. Let's go. He gets the goal again. The number nine. He is phenomenal. Well, not phenomenal, but for this standard of football, he is very, very good. And I'm enjoying him a lot. Um, as he gets the goal to put us 2-2 now um, goals in this game you know the first half was pretty boring like I said and now the goals are coming green here great chance flicks it on I should have shot first time but I took a touch and it was so heavy the rebound hits the crossbar and we just couldn't finish it there um, I was so annoyed we got so many chances towards the end of the game as you can see here again the ball was over hit um, which is really annoying uh, but that does conclude this game and I'll move on into some transfers and the sim games now. So I'll be right back. Alright guys, here you go. I've got some squads, uh, not squads, some player ratings back and prices. So the first player I'm going to try and get is a Mang. Now, I have used him before in previous career modes. And I think he's very good, so I think he would be a good addition to the side. So I actually am going to try... And offer a free. Obviously, we don't have much money, but we have we have a decent amount. So I'm going to offer 750 as the starting price to see if they will accept that, which they do. Okay. So now I just need to sign him on. Hopefully, he's not going to have too much wage demands. I don't really know because I want to get at least one more signing. So it wants to be crucial. I probably will start him up top with Fisher because Fisher has been great for us. No, 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 no. Counter at least three years. One year. Right, I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna try for two. Two year deal, please. Yes, thank you. All right now, obviously, uh, accept that. No release clause. This is the money. The money move. So he's currently on one point. He's on one. I'm gonna give him two thousand. And a signing bonus of like twenty three grand. Is that enough? I'll give him 2.4 just in case because I don't want him to rage out of this deal, which I think he might. Okay, he's not. Boom. First signing of the season. And the next player I'm going for is... Uh, hmm. The question... I think I want to go for this Rangers centre mid because just because of how versatile he is. He can play CDM or CDM centre mids or centre back and right back. So I'm going to try and get him. I don't think I'm going to have enough money for him. Uh, McCory, I think his name is. Um, I really do want to try and get him. We've got enough in the budget, I do think, to try and get him. But the problem is his wage budget. I'm going to give 950. See, look, our wage is so bad. Plus a 4% sell-on clause. I'm going to accept that. Hopefully I have enough wage. I don't think I will. Because uh, how much is he on now at the moment, does it say? Oh, it will show us anyway. He's 20 years old, so he'll be a very good signing if we can get him. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough in the bank. He's, oh, wow. He's currently on 6.9. Important role. Yeah, he wants to be crucial. Okay, that's fine. Because he probably will start. Length of the contract. I want at least a four-year deal. He probably won't want that. Oh, he does. That's fine. 
who proposed release course just because it lowers his wage down, uh, his value down. That uh, is, yeah, it, lo it lowers his wage. Oh wow, would literally counter edit bonus to that. Yes, let's go. So we got a new signing. That means we've got no money at all. Um, absolutely no money. But we have two new players in the squad. So what I'm going to be doing now is putting in uh, the players. Obviously, we just got a mang. I'll put him up there for now. Uh, McCory there. McCory will go straight into the starting lineup for Patson. Even though Patson is a decent player, um, I have decided to take him out. Uh, a man will go up there. He'll go actually up front with Fisher. And uh, I actually prefer this striker, uh, Ola Mola, uh, Olo Mola, to uh, this striker. I will keep him in the mix. Uh, it's just the fact that I just prefer him. Bailey, I prefer over Patterson, but I will keep these guys involved in the squad. Don't worry about that. Um, in terms of keepers, Bax is very good. Uh, he's just six foot. He seems a bit small. Uh, this guy, Phillips, he's age 40. So I think a new keeper, unless there's one down here. Oh, okay, he's 36, so I can put him on there. I actually didn't realise. I'll, I'll keep him as a sub. But anyway, so we've got two new players. A Mang, 20 years old. Uh, McCory, 20 years old. And yeah, guys, that is uh, going to be the end of... Actually, no, wait, sorry. No, it's not. We're actually going to be simming this game against Oldham. I forgot about that. Uh, great job with youth program. Okay, let's see this. What? Sign at least two players younger than 20 years old. Oh, nice. Okay. I also need to get the academy players, but I don't have enough, I don't have any money now to actually, um, to actually set up a scout. So that is kind of annoying. But anyway, last game of the episodes, Yeovil versus Oldham. Uh, and decided to sim this one because we're at home. Uh, I just don't... Oh, wow, Dickinson getting a red, straight red card in the 17th minute. Because there's so many games, I'm going to have to sacrifice and um, sim some games. 1-1, uh, as you can see there. 2-1 now to Oldham. Uh, that striker getting two goals. Or is that their left mid? I'm not sure. Are we going to get a equaliser? A man getting a yellow card? Yes, Almeida gets one near the death to get a draw. 2-2. Two -two. Yeovil versus Oldham. Uh, let's go see where that puts us on the table. It's probably going to lower us down if it's another draw. I mean, we're ninth. It's not too bad. We haven't lost the game yet in the league, I do believe. Um, yeah, so we haven't lost yet. Uh, one win, three draws. Three draws isn't great. Um, but our next game is against Stevenage, who I th I do believe are higher than us. And obviously, we're going to get all these scout reports back. But I won't be able to actually get these uh, players like in. Uh, I'm going to reject that offer just because it's a squad player and we need as many players as we can in the squad. Uh, I'm going to go check where Steven Edge actually are in the league. Um, I'm not going to sell him. He's our captain and he's a quality centre-back. Uh, I'm loving him so far. Um, if I go to the standings quickly, just check where Steven... I think they're higher up uh, than us. They're not. Uh, unless they're top of the league, actually. No, it's Swindon. Um, where are they? Oh, wow, the 22nd. So I'm actually going to sim this game as well while I'm here, just to end this month off, even though we've actually got a cup game against uh, Macclesfield there. I need to change the left-back, Dickinson. Uh, straight swap for Ojo. Left-back, he's a youngster. Uh, I'm just going to do a straight swap. Uh, put him in there. And then we'll go straight into the next last game of the sim, and then we'll start off the episode against Macclesfield in the cup. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Macclesf Macclesfield's town uh, who we're going to be playing. I'm not too sure, actually. But anyway, moving on to the last game of the season. <laughs> not the season. The last game of the episode against Stevenage at home. McDonald putting us 1-0 up there in the 30th minute there. Really, really... Um, I really like McDonald, you know. But I just think his shooting when I use him is god-awful. So we're just going to have to try and work around that. Can we get the win? It's still 1-0. Oh, they equalised in the 83rd minute. Wow. It's another draw. Yeovil Town getting another draw there. I mean, it's a point when we still haven't lost, but we want to be winning those games. Round two of the EFL Cup is um, upon us. As you know, we did beat Leeds in the first round, which is crazy. I can't believe I actually beat them. Um, so that start of the next episode, that will be uh, the game. Uh, let me just put Dickinson back there. That will be the first game of the episode Maxfield uh, obviously in the Carabao Cup let me just quickly go check the league table after that draw uh, standings in the league uh, let me go back to our league obviously eighth in the Turkey so we went up one place 
back up just one below the playoff so not too bad um, see you guys in the next episode peace